most of us standing here have assumptions, have assumptions and fixations about success. We think that we can't be successful because we want to be successful. To all my brothers and sisters in Botswana, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Mwashibu Kenika, Limu Aikarashani, Bushiku Bualelo. Desubi Lamu Yomu Tende, to my brothers and sisters in Kenya, the rest of Africa, and indeed the diaspora, welcome. Today I have an interesting uh, video that I want to share with you. In Bemba, they say, Amano Mambulwa. We are trying to learn from as many people as we can find on the internet and across the world. Uh, people that have actually done it, people that have actually walked the walk, the stuff that we are trying to learn. And I hope you will learn uh, one or two things from this video that I'm going to share. And it's coming from none other than the current president of Zambia. But this video was actually recorded way back before he became uh, the president and he was sharing his experience as a businessman, as an investor, what it takes to actually be a successful investor or entrepreneur. So I know this is kind of connected I think it's connected to what we are trying to do here. We are trying to build in Zambia, which is actually investing and the principles that he will share from his lesson learned over the period of successful business um, ventures. I think those can apply to us. So enjoy this video and let's watch it together and we'll come back and uh, sum it up. And I hope you will enjoy it. Um, I asked Matthew to give me the liberty to use the flip chart. So I just want to put one stuff on the flip chart. Don't pay too much attention to it. I'll talk through briefly and I may refer to that flip chart once in a while. It's just that I love it. Right, what, what, I, what I put there is a very simple equation, which all of you know. I assume you all know this equation. Um, you know, Y, let's see, is equal to S is equal to I. Where and Y is income, or uh, whatever you want to call it, funds. And C is equal to cost of consumption or expenditure. And S is equal to savings, and I is equal to investment or capital. Because I assume that as entrepreneurs, it's very important that you understand this, this, this issue as a basic minimum, if you want. You don't have to be an expert in these things, but just the understanding what or how you can manipulate these four elements in investing, in sustaining your business. In my view, it's worked well for me to remind yourself. So, I think essentially, let me start by saying, to me, most of us standing here have assumptions, have assumptions and fixations about success. We think that we can't be successful because we want to be successful. It's not always correct. We will be successful because we want to be successful because we're working and behaving as people who want to be successful. You want to be an entrepreneur? You want to be an investor? You have to learn to spend some money. Whatever money is available to you, which is why then. You have to learn to spend some money. To spend some money, you have to reduce your expenditure, your consumption. You have to reduce your luxury perceptions of life. You've got to go through some pain of some kind in order to have some money available for you to invest. Even if you loan, you borrow that money, that's why I'm calling it Y income or funds, you have to use that money properly. You have to know that if you're extravagant, you will have less money to make available for investment. Don't waste too much time on it. But I wanted to say that. 
So for young people, young businesses, I think it's important that you take opportunities when they arise. You must look for opportunities. You must evaluate options available to you and make your decisions. Once you've made your decisions, I think it's important to focus. Do what you've decided to do and do it persistently, resiliently, even if you are being discouraged by others. No two people are the same in the world. You can't say because HH is a rancher, I will be a rancher. <laughs> but if you want to be a rancher, you can be a better rancher than HH if you focus, if you work hard at it, if you know the basic dynamics. That's what I'm saying. I'll be jumping over what I'm saying here. Frankly speaking, I've seen too many young people in this country who have wishful thinking, who want to be like some of the guys I see in this crowd, but they don't walk the talk. I'm sorry if I make you unhappy tonight. You have to walk the talk. You have to be serious about what you want to do. Bill Gates started his computer business on the floor of a room. I don't want to say what that room was. On the floor of the room, he had no desk, he had no nothing. Today, Microsoft. Today is what you know about Bill Gates. Many young people say, I can't do business because I have no money. That is not true. Nobody is born with money. You're lucky if you inherit your income. You're very lucky. You can inherit it and blow it up very easily. I think it's your mindset. It's your mindset. It's your seriousness. It's your commitment to what you want to be, what you want to do. You need basic skills. I'm jumping. You need basic skills in order to succeed reasonably. Basic understanding. When I say skills, I don't mean you have to be a professor. I don't mean you have to have a master's. I mean you have to have the basic tools that allows you to understand why it is important not to buy a Mercedes Benz after having been to the bank to borrow money. And your project proposal says you're borrowing money to set up a little, if you like, milk processing bank. Then you cheat the bank in your assumption. You cheat the bank, instead of actually investing in that plant, you increase this seed on unproductive expenditure a Mercedes Benz. You're actually not cheating the bank, you're cheating yourself. Eventually, you know, the chickens will come home to roost. <laughs> I'm serious about it. I've seen it many times. You need basic understanding to know that if you don't continue investing, <coughs> you are impairing your capability to earn income. You are impairing your capability to grow. I hope you have enjoyed that video and obviously uh, learned one or two things from it. I definitely have uh, been blessed. I think. The principles that he has shared particularly those four principles are quite relevant wherever you are and whatever you're doing so if you've enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like subscribe and smack that bell so that every time we share content such as this you'll be the first ones to be notified and god bless you i'll see you in the next video